Hey guys, welcome to the section on Microsoft Excel Worksheet Basics. In this section, we will be looking at some of the basic concepts we should know when working with Microsoft Excel. So the first thing we'll be looking at is what is a cell. The intersection between a row and a column is what we refer to as a cell. So what that means is that if you look at this Excel workbook, you can see that the columns are labeled A, B, C, D, and the rest of them. So let's take, for instance, this column is the column G and the rows are labeled in as numbers. The intersection between column G and row six. So this is what we refer to as a cell and this cell name is G6. So you can see from the name box that the cell name is G6. So a worksheet is actually a page in Microsoft Excel that contains the row and the column. And in the worksheet, we enter data in the worksheet. So virtually is within the cell that we type in those data. So your worksheet is a page, just your normal page in Microsoft Excel. So this is a page here. This is a worksheet. So you can see by default, Excel will call this sheet one. So by default, Excel will call this page sheet one. If I click the plus button, I'll add other sheet and by default to call it sheet two. So we can rename this when we get to basic structure, how we can rename it. We'll look at how we can rename this sheet so that we can identify it. So this is what a sheet looks like. Remember the cell is the intersection between row and column and that the sheet contains rows and columns. So it contains the column and it contains the rows. So last but not the least is the workbook. Now, a workbook in Microsoft Excel is just the name of the file and that the name of the file consists of worksheets. So every workbook consists of several worksheets or only one worksheet. So, and the extension file name for Excel workbook is .xlx for older versions and .xlxx for newer versions of Microsoft Excel. So the workbook consists of worksheets and the worksheet consists of what? Of cells. Now, if you look at this basic structure, you can see how it looks like. This is the structure of what Excel looks like. So the workbook is the name of the file and the worksheet are the sheets you can find within the workbook and the cells are what you can find within the what? The worksheet. So if you look up here, you can see the name book one. Okay, so the name of this file is book one. By default, Excel will call it book one. So, but we can actually change this name by going to file and going to save as and click on PC and put in a new name. So I can call this new name. I can call it my first iPhone workbook. So if you look at the file name is Excel workbook. So we click save. So if you look up here, the name of the file has been renamed to my first workbook. But the sheet is still having sheet one and sheet two. We can do that later on. We'll see how we can rename the sheet. Congratulations, you've been able to create your first workbook in Microsoft Excel. And if you see, if you look up here, you see the name of the workbook is my first workbook and it contains uh, sheet one and sheet two. So in the next class, we'll be looking at how do we enter data into our sheet and how do we uh, work with such data. Thank you. See you in the next class.